developing now. The search is on for three suspects after a shooting at New Jersey's giant American Dream Mall. Now, the mall went into lockdown when it happened shortly after 6 last night. See, this is Elijah Westbrook has been gathering late details. He joined us live from the mall in East Rutherford with the latest. Elijah. Well, Chris and Mary Mall goers described the scene yesterday as simply chaotic. They say that they were shopping, dining when they heard this gunfire ring out and it sent them running for safety. Videos on social media show the mass panic inside the American Dream Mall around 5.50 yesterday afternoon. And everybody run, 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 run. They even not pay the bill for the food. They just run. Just somebody, just everybody run for their life. Benjamin Galvis is a food court worker who says he heard two shots and screams. He describes the chaos as he says the mall was on lockdown for about an hour. Security was telling us to just stay in our jobs, stay uh, in a store or stay in, I don't know, in the food court, but we cannot be like in the mall because they can't find, they couldn't find the shooters. Galvez tells us he and his co-workers locked themselves inside a third floor kitchen until it was safe to come out. Police can be seen in this video carrying long rifles as mall goers scramble for safety. They say three suspects got away, leaving one man seriously injured. They believe the incident was isolated and this was not an active shooter situation. Now, New Jersey State Police has not released any additional information regarding the victim's identity or if they've made any arrests in this case, at least as of this hour. As for the mall itself, American Dream says it plans to reopen today at 11 a.m. Well, live this morning in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.